Have you ever wondered how the basic attributes of shoes on Stepan affect you? Have you found it difficult to find a shoe with good basic attributes on the Step N marketplace? Watch this video to find out three ways on how the Step N basic shoe attributes affect you. So let's jump right in. What's up YouTube? This is Daniel and I'm back with my next video and in this video, I'll be telling you three ways on how the Step N shoe basic attributes affect you. If you ever bought a shoe on the Step N marketplace, you realize that it is difficult to find a shoe with good basic attributes. And in this video, I'll be telling you why it's so important to get a shoe with good basic attributes. Not only does it affect you at the very beginning of the game, it does have significant downstream impact on the game progression later on. And so if you refer to the Step N white paper, it will tell you that there are 5 sneaker qualities and when each sneaker is minted, the value of each attribute will be chosen at random within the minimum and maximum values according to the sneaker quality. As such, even the sneakers of the same quality may have vastly different attribute distribution. And so if you look at the table below, you'll see that for the common quality sneakers, the minimum attribute is 1 and the maximum attribute is 10. So for example, if you buy a common sneaker with an efficiency value of 1 versus someone else who bought another sneaker that has an efficiency value of 10, his sneaker with the efficiency value of 10 will be earning more GST than you. This is similar for all the other attributes as well. As you go down the table, you'll see that as the shoe becomes rarer, the minimum attributes increases and the maximum attribute also increases. For the model today, I've actually taken a common sneaker for the example. It is actually a common jogger and I've actually put in the different shoe attributes for the three different models. And so for the first model, you can see that the efficiency value is at 1. For the average model, the efficiency value is at 5. And for the best model, the efficiency is at the maximum value which is 10. I've actually gone into step guide to pull out all these values and if you haven't checked that out, please go and do it because it will be very helpful for your planning on how much GST you'll earn each day. And with that, you can actually refer to the table down below and it will tell you the different amounts of GST you'll be earning at each individual level. And if I just may refer you to the left of that table, at level 0 and at level 1, you'll see that there is actually a larger difference between the earning rates between the worst, average and best shoe. So for example, at level 1, the worst shoe will earn actually 166 GST and the average will earn almost 2 times of that which is about 3.07 and the best shoe will actually earn 50% more of that which is 1.5 GST more at 4.5 GST. However, this difference actually slowly narrows as you go up the levels and if you refer all the way to to the right at level 29, you'll see that actually all the three shoes earn roughly about 16 GST and the difference between the worst and the best shoe is actually only 0.7 GST. And so the first point that you need to know about basic attributes is that the basic attributes affect the amount of GST you'll be able to earn, especially more at the beginning levels. And you'll be able to see this in this graph here. On this chart, you actually see the chart for the GST versus the sneaker level. And on the Y axis is the GST and the X axis is the level. And for the blue curve, it is the worst performing shoe. And the orange curve shows the average shoe and the grey curve shows the best shoe. And if you observe the left side of the chart, you'll see that the curves are quite separated at the very beginning. And this distance in between the curve slowly decreases all the way to the right as the levels increases. From this, you can see that the basic attributes has a larger impact on the earnings of the shoe at lower levels and the impact actually decreases at higher levels. So for all of you out there who have just gotten your first earning shoe and that shoe that you're using to earn GST is less than level 9, you'll see that getting a shoe with good basic attributes is really very important. Next, the second tip is about the resilience attribute and how it actually functions. It actually functions differently from how the efficiency functions and it's more stepwise for resilience. And you'll see that there is actually a chart released by Step N Europe. Even though this is an unofficial chart, I do think that it's still quite accurate because they have actually done up this chart through collecting all the community data. And so you'll see at resilience level 1, the durability loss is 10.5 per energy. 
And by going up one level to level two, actually the durability loss goes down to seven. And this decreases very quickly with increasing level of resilience. You'll see that from level one to level four, the durability loss decreases with every level, but up to level 5 to level 7, actually it takes you 2 to 3 levels before it drops to the next durability loss level. And that is the same for level 8 to 9. And from 10 to 13, it actually takes you 4 levels before the next durability loss drops down to 2.5. And it takes you 7 levels from 14 to 21 resilience to get your durability loss all the way to 2. And as such, you'll see that there is a diminishing marginal returns of increasing your resilience. And so you should only level up your resilience to a certain point. Many people do suggest that level 14 for resilience is a good level to be at. Because at the next step, you'll be at level 22. And the amount of attributes that you need to put into resilience could be put into efficiency to increase your GST earning rate. And so if you look at the chart, because the early levels of resilience is so important in reducing your durability loss, the basic attributes of the shoe actually contributes greatly to the reduction in the durability loss. It will also reduce the number of attribute points that you need to put into resilience later on. As such, do keep in mind to get shoes with good resilience basic attributes. And the last tip that you need to know is that basic attributes have a very large impact on gem efficiency. So if you look at the table here, in the first row, you'll see that it is a shoe with base stat of 1, and the second row shows a shoe with base stat of 5, and the last row shows the shoe with base stat of 10. And so you see that for a gem at level 1, it will add 2 to its basic attributes and there will be a multiplier effect or called the awakening effect. And the awakening effect of a level 1 gem is actually 5% of its base stat. And so I've actually done a quick multiplication and so 5% of 1 is actually 0 0.05 and 5% of 10 is actually 0 0.5. And you'll see that the total stat that is provided by the level 1 gem is as such. If you have a low base stat of 1, the additional attribute that you get from that level 1 gem is actually 2.05. But if it's at 5, you get 2.25. And if it's at 10, you get 2.5. And you can see that actually for a level 1 gem, the difference is not very much. The difference between a base stat of 1 versus a base stat of 10 for that gem is actually almost 0.5. However, this difference increases as the level of gems increases. And if I do the same calculation, and you'll see that the level 2 gem actually adds about 15 attributes if the base stat is at 10. This trend continues and the difference becomes larger as you increase in the gem levels. So you see at gem level 3, the shoe with base stat 1 will have the level 3 gem at only 27.2 attributes. However, the shoe with base stat 10 will have its level 3 gem at 47 attributes. And so the efficiency of that gem really depends highly on the base stat of that shoe. If any of you are thinking to use that shoe for the long term or to use the gems to scale your GST earnings, do remember to get a shoe with a good base stat. And in this case, you need a shoe with good base efficiency and resilience to maximize your GST earnings. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe and share this with your friend. Now that you've found out how important basic attributes are, do watch this other video to help you choose the best basic sneaker for a beginner. See you next time!